characters you've created. It's lovely to watch um, and have those scenes with Richard because it's you see the natural progression as well of um, a young man. I genuinely think it comes from, with Catelyn, it comes from a very honest, loving place. She wants her daughters back. She is deceived to go on to become the deceiver too because Littlefinger gets to her and he plants the seed in her mind whilst giving her her husband's bones. And I think it's something that very gradually builds because even in that scene she says, do you think I keep secrets from my son? You know, so so she, at that point, it's, it's, right. it's never going to happen. Right. But gradually over the course, this need, this burning thing of this wish to get the family back together. You learn what's happened to yes. your sons Absolutely. in Winterfell and that they're in jeopardy. One thing we haven't talked about, which I always found fascinating about her character, is her relationship with Jon Snow and just how much she loathed Jon Snow for so many years. From Catelyn's point of view, it's in some way her role in the second series is about it's negotiating. It's about going and actually, which is wonderful with the characters you've created, they're human. You know, there is a side to most of these characters that you could go and actually appeal to and as a mother and say, please stop fighting. So that there's a possibility of achieving that with, with real people, but with Supernatural, you can't. Mm -hmm. mm. You're playing a completely different game. Yeah, it's a game changer. And yeah. you, it opens up a completely terrifying option, which is you cannot control it. And when she has that scene, when she is there negotiating with Renly, and suddenly this thing happens, and, um, and it's the fact that she has seen it as well. This because it's terrible, you know, um, and also I don't trust that person. You, you know, he is a man in his own right and he has to make decisions. And sometimes it is better for a parent, I think, to rather than humiliate them, <laughs> to let them make their own mistakes because that's how you learn. What's it like working on the show back in your homeland, Northern Ireland? Oh, it's wonderful. It's, I mean, when a lot of the time, this year particularly for my character, a lot of stuff was interior, like intense and stuff like that. So, but on the few occasions when we did have exterior, they were the most stunning locations. Just so beautiful. Um, like at Ballantoy, the rope bridge, and then up on Fairhead, where I used to go when I was a kid, and when we were on the horses, and then you can see Rathlin Island, and then you see Scotland, and if you go that way, it's America. And when you're that, when you're that, when you're up on this press.